Okay, so this is the electric chisel. I got this one uh, for my birthday, and I, I had no way to power it. I tried different things like putting a, uh, a drill bit in here and solder it in place and, and attach my my Dremel to try to power it, but it was too floppy with terrible disasters. So I decided to go ahead and buy the whole unit which came with the drive, the line, and another chisel. That's fine with me. I got a few chisels that uh, I can put one in, like a gouge in one and a parting tool in the other. So I, I like that. That's okay. For sharpening, I made, because they're so small, I made this little uh, little handle just for, for working on on sharpening my tools. So Because they, they are tiny. I wouldn't mind seeing them like an inch longer. I think that might be better. I'm concerned about going and going in and coming out of the work. Well, I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see how it goes. But there are uh, four sealed bearings in it. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. This pin uh, stops it from spinning at the front end, and it goes into this hole here. There's a spring right here, which gives you the action back and forth. To push it away. And here's the two pieces that will hammer together like a, kind of like a hammer drill kind of thing. Anyway, um, before and after, this is the newer chisel. Bit un, un, unsharpened or refined. And, of course, the the one I sharpened, trying to get it as close to a mirror finish as I can get. Hopefully it works. So anyway, I'm going to put that guy in and try it on this rose. I don't know how it's going to work in the rose. We shall see. Okay, so I got back together. Now, I'll show you uh, how she plugs in. Power this guy up. I this will run at uh, at 110 or 120, uh, but the motor reads uh, 220, so I, I have the opportunity to run it at 220. So I'm going to do so. It'll probably be easier on the motor anyway. So I'm going to fire it up. Now it's a variable speed. I like that. Very easy to plug it in. Come on. Make a liar out of me. There we go. Okay, that's without a chisel in it. It wants to rotate. You gotta hang on to it. That's how she works. Now I'll put a chisel in it. Oops, it bumped the camera. Well, we're good. Okay. Let's see what she does. No, I, I didn't start this with this rolls with this. I was in a craft show, so I from the deal I just start whittling away. I just want to see what this does. This is why I'm liking this. This is about half speed. Okay, I'm going to switch to the gouge. Like I say, I've never used this.
like it. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. Okay. Well, just make sure your chisels are super sharp, like a mirror finish. But no, I'm impressed. I like it. This is fun. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. All right, before I go, I, I forgot. I want to try it on this guy. That's a full speed. It's not super, super fast or anything. pushing a little bit. It, won't, it doesn't do it all. You gotta push. But I like this. One. I like the looks of something that's carved with a chisel. It's just such a nice shiny finish to it. And I'm getting that. So let's go across. Damn, I'm sold. I love it.